Good morning, y'all. Kelly is going above and beyond. She's trying something new. I'm gonna attempt to try to make huevos rancheros because we have had it out to eat for breakfast several times. I'm like, dude, I could totally make this. So I've already prepared the black beans. They're a, a refried black bean. I uh, did cumin, salt, pepper, some lime juice, and then we have to make egg and we gotta fry some tortillas, layer it. I've got some cheese and uh, avocado. So we'll see how it turns out. We are currently at Lake Corpus Christi State Park in South Texas. We were here for two weeks last year. It's a pretty nice place. Yeah, we really enjoy it here, especially during the week because there's hardly anybody here. I've heard in the summertime it gets crazy because of the lake right here, which is gorgeous. But we enjoy it because it's dead. I mean, you're always gonna get a camp spot. We have been all over this park since we last saw you guys. We've camped at several different spots. So that's the beauty of it. We just wanted to see the whole park, figure out what spots we like the most. We're almost there. I'm doing the egg right now. I wanted mine scrambled, so I'll do mine first and then we'll do Cody's egg. This is one of the most colorful dishes for breakfast I've seen you make in a long time. Yeah, it's pretty colorful. Oh, lime juice. It smells really good. I'm really excited about this dish. I always like laugh at how you have to like put it right up to your nose to smell it. I can't smell anything. I got the worst sniffer on the face of the planet. I haven't told anybody this, but the reason I think I have the worst sniffer on the face of the planet is when I was a kid, my parents caught me eating Vicks Vapor Rub out of a jar. And I vividly remember this because I was in my my diaper. That's how young I was. And I just, I guess my dad had a sore back and I went up on that coffee table, grabbed it and ate it. I think it messed up my senses. I think it messed up a lot of stuff. <laughs> Maybe. It's pretty bad. Oh, wow. Well. Can't cut into the tortilla. It's kind of hard, I agree. <laughs> Why was it so soft at the restaurant? I think they let it soak in the juices for a little bit. In what juices? Like the salsa? I don't know. Oh, we need a knife. Here you go. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like the restaurants? Mm -hmm. It's cold, but it's great flavor. Mm -hmm. Even though my huevos rancheros was um, a little hard, the tortilla was a little hard, the flavor was all there and it was great. So I'm definitely gonna make it again, but I'm going to, I guess not cook the tortilla that long, but I don't know. I thought the tortilla needed to be crispy, but it was too crispy. Anyways, I uh, wanted to talk to you about this campground. So we're at site number 59 and we like this spot because we can back straight in if you have a rig like this and our back door is literally right here. We buy our picnic table and then we have the fire pit over here and then you've got some privacy because we've got trees surrounding both sides now if you watched our video from the last year when we were here and we camped over there in our tent um, there was more room for a tent here there's a little bitty spot you kind of have some spots for a tent but you're kind of exposed and it is very windy today and this helps block a lot of wind now the spot that we wanted if it was not windy but it's reserved anyway is way down here it's on the end of the peninsula which would be a great spot if it wasn't windy because you've got the view of the lake also it's nice because we're right across from the showers and their showers are really nice here so we've been using those showers it's easy walk over and we can save the water in our tank and all these spots over here have a water spigot so we can drive up to the dump drain our gray water and then when we come back to our spot we can fill up here what you gonna do well i wanted to go try fishing because when we were in the hill country i had a one day fishing license here at the state park or any state park in the state of texas you don't have to have a fishing license to fish and i'm sure i won't catch anything but today i'm having my ugly stick and i'm not fly fishing we might go hike not hike really just walk out on this little trail because it has some beach access and it's real pretty one thing that i thought was really cool that i saw across the street was a cactus growing in a mesquite tree. How cool is that? Is that not cool right there? So this is actually a really nice spot. I like this spot. Oh, did you show them the spot? Did you actually go down there? No. We'll go down there real quick. Y'all, if it wasn't so windy, this would have been an epic spot. Once you walk past the tree line, that's whenever the wind kicks in. I'm glad we are where we are because you know we've been in wind for months. But here's the spots right here. Oh, 
Wow, look at that tent. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, so this is a spot. It was going to be either uh, out of these two. This is the one that we really wanted. And then, of course, there's another spot right there. I think that tree might be too low for us to back in, but this spot would be good, and then the one next to it. But yeah, their tent is just blown over. Okay, I know we keep talking about this campground, but we really do love this campground. And this is right behind where our camp is. And these are some really good spots if you have a tent, oh, I think. Are. Yeah, right over there. Oh, and the number of deer here, you gotta drive slow. There are so many does i haven't seen any bucks so many does here yeah they have a, a section where it's a day use area called whitetail run and we literally see deer there every morning and every afternoon and i'm talking probably like 20 or 30 deer i'm not exaggerating it's not like one two or three it's a ton of deer all right so we just did a big loop our camp is right behind kelly down that road yeah and we're here now this is just a 0.9 mile loop, and I guess you'd call this Catfish Point Trail. Yeah, that's what it's called. Very nice, very hard to pack. <laughs> this is what happens when he goes to set up a camera and he's like, I think I got a cactus in my foot. <laughs> oh my God, how am I supposed to pull that out? That is in there. It hurts. Oh, oh, mm. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of little ones in there. Oh God, babe, we don't have tweezers. They're at the camper. Okay, hold on. What's this at the tip of this That's time? That's needles. Uh, oh, oh God. okay. You know, usually I wear shoes since we've been in the desert, but I was like, oh, it's nice and warm today and we're just gonna be on the trail and I see this beautiful orange flower. Y'all see it in just a second. I'll throw it in the clip. I didn't see the cactus. Kelly, show them what the cactus looks like. It doesn't stand out very well. Yeah, I, I was just looking around and I was like, wow, this is a cactus. He's like, yeah, that's what's in my foot. So it, from far away, it doesn't... Doesn't look like much. There's one here too. Ah, uh, kind of hurts still. All right. I have on shoes. She's smarter than I you. was the smart one. All right, let's set up for this beautiful shot. <laughs> okay. Was that flower worth it? Yeah. What do y'all think? <laughs> okay, be careful getting the camera. Ah, okay. I feel like I'm in a bird sanctuary. Yeah, it's been really nice. We've been hearing so many birds. I love birds. And we haven't heard that many in the desert. We heard some birds, but that was the one and only thing I missed about our house is because it was a tri-level home and our bedroom was in the very top level and we had nothing but trees in our backyard. So every morning it was like thousands, it was like a bird sanctuary, thousands of birds. And that is the only thing I miss about our old house. And I really think this is a honeysuckle. It's just not ready. It looks like a muscadine vine to me. Oh, maybe it is, maybe. Or some kind of vine. Right here, it is. Wild grape. Oh. Mustang, summer grape, and muscadine. Look at me, naming stuff off. I'm kind of smart every once in a while, Angel Princess. Hmm. Little spur off the trail. Cody wanted to cast the line, and there's the camp spots that we just looked at that are on the peninsula. Definitely less windy over here on this side. But this water is usually really, really blue. It's so churned up right now because it's been windy the past four days. Also in the last video we did here last year, we took our kayaks out on the water. So if you wanna go see what the water looks like when it is really pretty and blue, you can go back and watch that video. Looks like we're gonna see a cactus flower. This is one of the largest prickly pears. Oh, there's bees in there. Or one, two, there's two. Dang, they had their faces planted in there. But this is the largest prickly pear I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty big.
I'm getting beach vibes. And just like that, we popped right back out onto the road where our camp is. Got Kelly's lounger out so that she can enjoy this beautiful day outside. But we're gonna go back down here. And we're gonna see if I can catch something. As always, I didn't catch a single thing. I had one bite. I didn't tell you that, honey. I had one bite. I kind of forgot what you were talking about. I forgot you went fishing. <laughs> it's been a little bit. We went and showered. Like it's been a long day because we worked out and then we showered. So we're ready for dinner. And tonight we're going to be making a trout pasta. So we've got rainbow trout here. And I've seasoned it with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. And we have a skillet and already have water here for the noodles. We're going to use a linguine. So we have quite a few fillets here, so we're gonna have to cook them maybe two at a time. Here is the linguine noodles we're gonna use. We're only, only gonna use half of that. Got some slivered almonds we're gonna put on it. Kelly's pulling the first trout off and they are pretty. So I'm trying to get the skin off because how we're going to eat it with the pasta, we do not want that on it. Ooh, look at those skills. Look at those skills. So we just gotta make sure got our garlic. What I am prepping for right now is the sauce. And she's drinking some wine. That wine, don't drink it all because it goes with the yes. sauce. Just like with any red wine that we'd use in a, a pasta dish, if we need the red wine, that means we'll drink, drink the wine. And we've got white wine for this dish, so we're gonna drink some of that. Kelly threw some slivered, almonds. not shaved, slivered almonds, right? Yeah, I decided to toast them. Once that's done, we can start the sauce. That would be, uh, we're gonna start with the garlic, lime juice, and butter. All right, those are toasted. Now what, honey? Added some oil. Okay. And looks like it's time for my noodles to go in. I'm gonna have you set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Ready? Have you ever looked at your spouse's phone and try to figure out where the clock is? Same as yours, we have the same phone. Gotcha. <laughs> 12 minutes. Garlic going in. Oh, there goes the wine. We're waiting for the garlic to soften a little bit more. My burner was blown out, so uh, wait on that. And then it's gonna reduce just a little bit. And then we're gonna add more stuff. I've turned the burner off and this is the consistency we're looking at. Now we're gonna add in four tablespoons of butter. Final touches on the sauce is some parsley. So now, this is very thick, but this is going to be coating the noodles. And let me put my fish back in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swim the fish in this for a second. It just occurred to me, Kelly said, swim the fish in this. We don't have that many noodles, so we're gonna just go ahead and put them in here. All right, so we're just gonna toss it in the sauce. You know, I didn't measure anything, so if I was thinking if it's not coating enough, I can add olive oil, but we're gonna stick with it like this. It looks like it's coating. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Are you gonna top it with parsley? Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is <gasps> almonds. You forgot about our I almonds. Forget. 
<laughs> okay. Lay off the line, Kelly. Okay, looks good. All right, and plates. We have no plates. I'll take the dirty plate. Okay. I'll go get a plate. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some noodles. Fish. And are you gonna top it with some more parsley? Sure, I was gonna have the beard going oh, Okay. Well, yours is not gonna look as good. And then mine is for consumption. <laughs> Kelly's is for presentation. Okay. I really like that. It's time for us to clean up some dishes. That fish. What? That dish Kelly? was really good. I don't think there's anything I'd change about it. Maybe if it wasn't cold. I think if we could have kept it warm. Same thing with breakfast. They're and both the flavorful and yeah. amazing. And it, I enjoy doing something different. So if you like either of those dishes and I perfect the breakfast one and you want it in the second cookbook, just let us know in the comments because I need to be working on a second cookbook. I am not working on a second cookbook. They're all here. I need to be. So it's going to be a while. <laughs> the door just slammed shut. It's getting windy. I'm glad we're over here by the bushes. But we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.